I always tell people that if I didn't play basketball here, I would still love to come here and just be a student. Getting here and just seeing all the life that was throughout this campus compared to my uh, small town that I was accustomed to, that was a little eye-opening. Since my freshman year, there's been a lot of personal growth. I came in very immature, just wanted to play basketball, really, and that kind of struggled. I think the one thing, especially with Ethan, that needs to be mentioned is he followed Frank Kaminsky, which wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to fill those shoes. You're replacing a national player of the year. He's probably more than anybody has had to deal with such a changing of the guard, so to speak, in terms of the teammates that he played with. I mean, he had been a part of probably the best team in school history in 2015. And then you've got to go through such a huge transition. Obviously, Frank, you know, best player in college basketball, and then that huge supporting cast that he had. Going from that and then to people who haven't really had experience on the court too much besides Nigel and Bronson, it made me work even that much harder throughout the offseason. And I was just really relishing the opportunity that I was going to have with all those minutes being gone. The big men here, especially recently with Frank Kaminsky and John Luer and now Ethan Happ, have been developmental types. Back in 2014 when he was redshirting, we were allowed to watch practice. Frank would come off a game where he'd worked hard the night before and Ethan would be there going after him in practice just like a pest and it would really bother Frank. At some point during the season, Bo Ryan went on his radio show and said that Ethan Happ is going to be one of the best players to ever play at Wisconsin. It turned out Bo was right. Tap moving in, up and under, now pivots again, up right hand, rattles in for Happ. I think his legacy will get better with age. He's already the all-time leading rebounder. He's number three in assists. He's number two in steals. He's going to be number two in blocks. Blocks by Happ. He's been an Iron Man throughout his career. He hasn't missed a start. He's a guy that you can count on being there every single night. Goes into Happ against Ward. Ethan at the left block. Ethan turns up right hand. Good. Half the bucket. That's 2,000 for his career. He'll be one of four players in Big Ten history to have 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds with Herb Williams, Greg Kelser, and Joe Barry Carroll. The most recent one was 30-some years ago. That's some pretty elite company in terms of numbers. That's Mount Rushmore. Please direct your attention to the court as we present the Wisconsin Basketball Senior Class. My redshirt freshman year was the first senior day I went through. I remember seeing Josh, Trey, and Frank leave. Going through four senior days, and then finally it being my time, I can leave without having any regret. The time that I spent with the people here, you know, all the wins that we racked up, spending my summers here at the Terrace, those are memories that I got the most out of. I'll obviously miss Madison, but it's not like I'm gonna look back thinking like, damn, I really regret that I have to leave just because I know that I lived a full five years here in Madison. Some of the proudest moments I've had here at the Cole Center, beating Purdue last year where we were really struggling. Davidson, long jumper. That was my first court storm, that was amazing. And then this year, Michigan, they were undefeated coming in here and we ended up taking them down too. Haps alone! into the court. These last two years have been special too because of the shoe project. We had 20 lucky kids with a pair of his shoes. I thought it would be a great idea to find Badger fans, give one out and sign one, do a meet and greet after every game. What's up, man? How you doing? I used to have races for I hate it. After a big win or even some really tough losses, I get perspective on what, you know, I'm really playing this game for and what this means. People always ask me what legacy I'm going to leave Wisconsin. That's always been about statistics and how many points and rebounds or whatever it may be, but I think this is just as special. Once I'm gone here, we have plans that the other players that give their shoes away and continue to help kids and continue to make changes in, in those lives and f for the better after I'm gone. Being there for the last time is going to be a whirlwind of emotions.
I felt emotional the last couple senior days too. It wasn't even me leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the court as we present the Wisconsin Basketball Senior Class. 